Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. This is the second of a two-part video. By the end of this video you should be able to use the concentration of one solution in a reaction to determine the concentration of the other solution. In the last video we saw how to calculate the concentration of a solute in moles per decimeter cubed. We use this equation. We can also calculate the number of moles of a solute by rearranging the equation like this. So in this video we're going to use these equations to determine the concentration of a solution from a reaction. Take a look at this question. 0.05 decimeters cubed of sodium chloride solution with a concentration of 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed reacts with 0.04 decimeters cubed of silver nitrate solution. Calculate the concentration of the silver nitrate solution. So how do we tackle a question like this? Looking at the equation we can see that one mole of sodium chloride reacts with one mole of silver nitrate. We're going to use that fact later. So the first thing we need to do is write the letters C equals N equals and V equals under both the reactants like this. Now we enter the information that we've been given in the question. The concentration of the sodium chloride is 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. The volume of the sodium chloride is 0.05 decimeters cubed and the volume of the silver nitrate is 0.04 decimeters cubed. Looking at the sodium chloride we now know both the concentration and the volume. So we can calculate the number of moles. Here's the equation. The number of moles equals the concentration multiplied by the volume. The concentration is 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed and the volume is 0.05 decimeters cubed. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us 0.01 moles. We know that one mole of sodium chloride reacts with one mole of silver nitrate. This means that we must have 0.01 moles of silver nitrate so we can put that number in here. Now we know the number of moles and the volume of the silver nitrate solution, so we can calculate the concentration. To do this, we divide the number of moles by the volume. The number of moles is 0.01 and the volume is 0.04 decimeters cubed. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a concentration of 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed, and that's our final answer. Here's a question for you. 0.1 decimeters cubed of barium chloride solution with a concentration of 0.5 moles per decimeters cubed reacts with 0.07 decimeters cubed of copper sulfate solution. Calculate the concentration of the copper sulfate solution. Pause the video and try this yourself. From the equation we can see that one mole of barium chloride reacts with one mole of copper sulfate. We'll be using that information later. Now we write the letters C equals N equals and V equals under both the reactants like this. We then enter the information that we've been given. The concentration of the barium chloride solution is 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed and the volume is 0.1 decimeters cubed. The volume of the copper sulfate solution is 0.07 decimeters cubed. So now we can calculate the number of moles of the barium chloride solution. The number of moles is the concentration multiplied by the volume. The concentration is 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed and the volume is 0.1 decimeters cubed. Putting these numbers into the equation tells us that we've got 0.05 moles of barium chloride. We know that one mole of barium chloride reacts with one mole of copper sulfate. We have 0.05 moles of barium chloride, so we must also have 0.05 moles of copper sulfate. Now we have all the information that we need to calculate the concentration of the copper sulfate. The concentration is the number of moles divided by the volume. The number of moles of copper sulfate is 0.05 and the volume of copper sulfate is 0.07 decimeters cubed. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a concentration for the copper sulfate solution of 0.71 moles per decimeter cubed to two decimal places. And that's our final answer. Now we're going to be looking again at this when we explore titrations in a later video. Remember that you'll find plenty more questions on calculating the concentration of solutions in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to use the concentration of one solution in a reaction to determine the concentration of the other solution. 